welcome back to my channel. Yet again, another spontaneous Blu-ray hunt and Funko Pop search. This was not planned whatsoever. Work was really dead and lame today, so I quit early. I grabbed my mom. We went Father's Day shopping for my dad, her dad, and I just happened to come across some great stuff and I wanted to show you what I got today. Before I do, if you are new here at my channel and you love movie content, Blu-ray trips, award season, and everything, and all entertainment, you're going to want to hit that red subscribe down below. So now, when I left work, well, decided not to keep going with work, I decided, you know what, I'm going to Best Buy, because Best Buy opened up, I believe, yesterday, so I was very excited. What am I going to find? I was hoping a lot of things were going to be on clearance, because the stores have been closed, they want to get rid of some of their product, so I was hoping for maybe some Black Friday sales or something. I walked into the movie section, there was barely anything there. I was absolutely shocked. I have no footage of me in any stores, unfortunately, because I wasn't planning on filming anything. I wasn't planning on doing a video. I did not plan any of this. So I apologize that there's no footage of me in a store, but I will tell you what happened today. So like I said, in Best Buy, there was hardly anything on the shelves. The Steelbook section, there was nothing there. No Steelbooks whatsoever. However, I did find two items and they're good and I am proud of them. The first one is the Godfather trilogy on Blu-ray with a special fourth disc for special features. That's right. So this is a really good collection. Guess what guys? I've never seen the Godfather. Never seen the Godfather. So now I have no excuse. This is one of probably the greatest movies, trilogy, well, I don't know about trilogies. I'm hearing the third one isn't that great, but I know Godfather 1 and 2 are absolutely incredible, amazing. You have to watch them before you die. So my mission within the next couple of weeks is to watch this trilogy. I'll probably end up ranking it for you. By the way, I did not forget I'm working my way through the Jurassic Park movies. I'm watching the third one tonight. And I will probably be doing my ranking for Jurassic on Friday. So be on the lookout for that. Now, the second thing that I got at Best Buy, I was actually thinking about for the past couple of weeks, is that I don't have the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy. Guess what? The only one there at Best Buy. Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3 on Blu-ray with digital. So this will be up for grabs at the end of the month, guys. So get excited. And this thing right here, this is like a deluxe package. If you could see this, there's like trading cards in there or something. I don't know. But there's over 30 hours of special features with this Best Buy pack of the Spider-Man movies. This is exciting. For any MCU Marvel geek like myself, this this is great. So I'm so happy that I found this. And actually both of the both of these trilogies were on sale for $29.99. So that is not too bad. So then I went home, I picked up my mom, we went to Walmart, and she's like, you know what? I love you, Sue. I'm going to buy you something today. Go look for something. I said, okay. So I went into, obviously, the movie section. Didn't really find anything, but my eye caught E.T. on Blu-ray. Digital code, yet again, will be up for grabs at the end of this month. For $10 with an awesome slip. And I think that they just put these out because this slip cover, if you could see this, it's like perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no rips. There's no, they, they must have just put these out. And I think they did because two guys were in the aisle and they were putting all the movies away. So I think they just restocked E.T. So that's awesome. I didn't have E.T. It's been so long since I've seen it. I'm happy to have it. Now let's get into my really great finds. If those, if those, if those, blah, blah, we're not good enough. Let's talk about my Funko Pops, okay? Now, guys, this is exciting, okay? So my mom had to get cigarettes. And two, three doors down from the cigarette place is GameStop. So I decided, Mom, I'm going to go into GameStop. I've never been into GameStop looking for Funko Pops. 
I don't know why. I just never have. Well, you know what? It's changing from now on because I found exclusive Funko Pops, one of which I have never seen in a store or online. I didn't even know it existed. When I saw this Funko Pop, I snatched it immediately. It's a collection of four. I'm going to go back and see if I can grab the others that were there. I have to look more thoroughly. I left mom in the car, so I didn't really have a lot of time, but I'm excited to show you what I got. All right. And I got three of them for $25. This is good. This is good. Okay. So the first one that I saw and I immediately grabbed, I knew that this was an exclusive Thanos. Now what's the big deal about Thanos? He's been out before. Well, with this one, his arm is detached. If you could see that the arm with the gauntlet right there, no, no hand it's over here. <laughs> this is a 2020 spring convention limited edition exclusive and plus his face is all burnt up and everything so i knew immediately i needed this fungo pop this was 15 dollars at gamestop not too bad not too bad then of course we all know my love of catwoman and i just happened to look down and there she was there she is little miss catwoman this one's in a bigger Funko Pop box, if you can see it. Not really sure why it's so big. I guess she's in like an action scene or something, but only a GameStop exclusive. If you can see that on the bottom, guess how much I paid for this one? $5. $5. Now, mind you, I had no idea how much any of these were. I was, I'm the kind of shopper, whatever I like, it really doesn't matter. As long as it's within reason, I'm going to get it because I want it. But I had no idea Little Miss Catwoman was only $5. That is amazing. Now, let's get into the one that I've never seen before. Never seen it online. Never seen it in a store. Didn't even know it existed. Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien has a Funko Pop. I cannot even believe it. It's only at GameStop exclusive. Now, I've been a fan of Conan O'Brien for a really long time. I started watching him when he had his late night show on NBC way, way, way back in the day when he first started out. And I actually went to his live show when he got fired and Jay Leno took back over. And remember, he went on tour because he couldn't really do anything because he was still under contract or something. So I went to that tour. He came to Connecticut. My best friend Kim and I... That's why I got this. This is history. My best friend Kim and I went to his live show at Mohegan Sun, the casino here in Connecticut, and had a wonderful time. When I saw this, it was unbelievable. I had to get it. Amazing. It's Conan Without Borders, and there's four of them in the series, and I know one of them, the Armenian Conan. He's at GameStop. I saw him there as well. I didn't see the others, but I didn't really do a lot of digging, like I, I said, but wow. And guess how much I paid for him? $3.97, guys. $3.97. I don't know if he's going to be worth money. I don't know if he's worth money right now. Gonzo, let me know, because you let me know about the other Spider-Man pop that I had. But let me know if this is worth any money. But yeah. These are my finds for, this is what I found in one day. I was, I was just so amazed by everything. I decided, you know what? I'm just going to make a video and let you guys know and keep you updated because there is no more Target Tuesday for right now. So this is my substitute Target Tuesday video for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you got this week. Did you get any Blu-rays or Funko Pops or anything else? Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.